Over the past week, there have been many things that have crossed my mind and I just wanted to jot down some thoughts that I wanted to share with you from my perspective as to what's going on in the church community and the world around me. Last week ended in being one of the most thought provoking in my lifetime for a num from a number of perspectives, race relations, cultural divide, and media exploitation. Diamond Reynolds recorded the aftermath in a clear, calm, concise expose, her boyfriend Philando Castile's death. I realized that this was not a movie, but real life. The narrative is more than fiction than fact. While the shooting death of Alton Sterling still is fresh on my mind, I had to come to the realization that human life is precious. The question that I have heard over the last few days is whether or not black lives matter. Do unborn baby lives matter? And do the right to bear arms matter? The question is not whether or not um, one of these is more important than the other. These are issues that need to be talked about. Other questions are, are all police bad? No way. But every agency has a responsibility um, to police itself, no pun intended. I personally cried not only for Philando and Alton, before the facts, because they were human lives. I also wept for Brent Thompson, Lauren Ahrens, Patrick Zampera, Michael Smith, and Michael Cole. For the same reasons, they were not going home to their families, unnecessary deaths. After church, we cannot just sit back and be absent from the dialogue. As church individuals, we must become participants. We can assist people with justified anger. We can provide answers to for the insensitivities and the injustices that are prevailing in our society. We can help bridge the divide between different perspectives by interacting with people who don't seem to get it. The church can be a friend to the hopeless people by including them in what we do. No greater friend than a man has than he lay down his life um, for his brothers and for those who have no voice. We say we want police to get back into the community, placing their lives on the line. Well, what about the church? We need to do the same. We cannot any longer disenfranchise ourselves from um, those who are afraid and from the goals that need to be talked about in society. Young people should protest peacefully. African Americans, blacks, have the right to be angry and frustrated over what's happening, what's been happening for decades. Understanding the facts can be bantered and talked about from any number of scenarios. The question that I raise is, is the pursuit of liberty and happiness and life, is it a realistic expectation for all people today? Nothing may happen from church meetings, protests, TV debates, but I have two children who I desire to have a better life and to experience better than what I have. Jesus says to love your enemies and pray for them, but he also said in Isaiah 117, learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, and plead the case of the widow. And in conclusion, he says, take up the cause for the fatherless, plead their case, and then he says, seek this and make sure that we come to conclude these matters. Let's not have more of this. Our society is better than this. Our church has a role to play in this. And I just challenge all of us not to disenfranchise from your feelings, not to ignore what's going on around you, not to try to defend or not defend particular cases that are going on, but just realize that we have a right and an expectation to help people to find a better life, understand what life is all about, to give them hope in a hopeless society, to present to them something that they can have joy about. Black lives do matter. Police lives do matter. Thank you.